I've lost a whole block of training because in the last five weeks I've been minimizing losses due to a uh, tibia stress fracture and an Achilles tendon problem in that same leg. It's two months before my first race. So what do I do now? Hey, second community, this is Steve Bruce's The Cycling Greek. So the question is, what do I do now? Well, the choices are I can uh, just jump to where I would have been if I wasn't injured. Uh, the other choice is that I stay on my plan but shorten my blocks so that I'm ready like I want to be ready for that first race in two months. And the third is I ignore that timeline and I just do what I'm supposed to, what I was going to do ordinarily at the, for a normal block. And instead of be ready in two months, I'll still race in two months, but be ready like I want to be in three months. And that's going to take more patience and I think that's the way to go. So today's plan, I'm back on the four lane. This may be the only day I could do it, maybe one more day, because we have a lot of rain coming. Okay, so I am doing tempo, not right now. Right now I'm just doing endurance comfortably up to the start of the four lane. And then on that uh, eight mile section, probably I'll do a couple of 20 minute sets. Obviously I'm going uphill now, so where I'm breathing is not endurance. I'll probably add five run-ups. Something I learned from Chaz Terman, and if I remember, I'll put his uh, YouTube channel in the link below. He started off racing on the development team that I had years ago, and now he's a pro. And there's another local, Nick Baird, who's joining Skyline, the team that he's on. These two uh, race together on uh, ride bikes, Tyler's team. So now they're getting together again, so that's pretty cool. I should wait till I'm on the flat section to start talking again. Now I'm on a bit of a wall, at least it's steep. Okay, so in the off season, one of the main things is do a lot of endurance, work the tempo, etc., to build your mitochondrial density. Now, it builds it in those cells that are getting worked. And usually, I've done that on flatter ground. And actually, that's not true. I'm doing a lot of climbing then too, but now I'm doing it on climbing because there's a slight difference in emphasis in muscles being used for climbing. So those guys need mitochondria too. One reason I was able to do so well in a Zwift race is because during the off-season before I got hurt, I was doing VO2 max workouts once a week. Why? As always, because I'm old. I've spoken before about the four pillars of longevity. VO2 max is one of the pillars that you have to work. I therefore have to figure out how I'm going to do the uh, insert the VO2 max workouts. The reason I say that is because I can just do the straight four minutes on, four minutes off type of thing for four times. But I also like racing in Zwift. But I can't just rely on that because it's not a workout. That was one hour of tempo. I was at the, uh, not knowing exactly what my FTP is, I was near the bottom of the tempo range. I'm happy. Okay, I've got some time. I'm gonna do those run-ups. I ordinarily do run-ups on a flat road. At least that's what I've done. But uh, there is no flat road. You know, enough of a flat road to do them. Five sets or so. So, I'm going to do them on the fire station wall. Obviously, I won't be in my uh, biggest gear, big ring. I'm sure it'll have the same effect. Or close to it, relative to climbing. I only 
did three run-ups instead of five because I was starting to feel it in my Achilles. So no need to push it. Still got the benefits of those three. Beautiful day up here. I think the high is uh, 64, 65 down in the valley. It's going to be 70 plus, I think, on Saturday. But uh, I can't get anybody to ride with me. Nobody made a commitment, so I may join this other ride. And that may be worth a video. All right, time to go home. Man, that was a good workout. Okay. In my effort to practice patience, tomorrow is just going to be recovery ride. Not endurance, just recovery. All right, I got to go drop off my wheel because I have a squeaky wheel. I hope you enjoyed this video and you got something out of it. This is yet another comeback for me, although it's a mini comeback. As always, remember, comment, like, subscribe, and share this. The Cycling Greek.